Hey there, welcome. This is Jason Aloha. I am in Maui, Hawaii, and uh, the plant I'm introducing to you today is known as Hibiscus rosa sinensis. This is also known as the Chinese hibiscus, the rose of China, and the Hawaiian hibiscus. Uh, this plant's origins are from Southeast Asia, and it's a gorgeous plant. Um, this plant, uh, it prefers tropical humid environments. Um, in Hawaii here where I am, uh, it's getting a lot of sunlight because it's in a very tropical, humid uh, environment. And um, just so, just know um, when it comes to the care, um, I'll walk you through that right away. Uh, if you are gonna grow this, for example, in California and you're more inland uh, and you don't, um, and you get more intense summers and colder winters, um, keep these pointers in mind. Uh, this plant, uh, as far as lighting, um, it wants, you know, part sun to sun. Uh, you can grow it in full sun if you live on the coast, but if you don't live on the coast, um, I'd recommend placing this in part sun to part shade. Uh, I've seen it do really well under both circumstances. Uh, these blooms, it, it puts out these beautiful blooms, and here is one close up. And there, um, they come in like so many different colors. This one is pink with like a red center, but um, oh my gosh, the varieties are um, limitless. Oh, there are so many different varieties and colors of this plant. Uh, hibiscus is uh, in the mallow family. So um, it's in a family of flowers um, where there are a lot of edible flowers. Hibiscus um, is an edible flower. Uh, this one in particular. Um, it is not usually the one that you see people making tea out of though. So it's not, it doesn't have that the flavor that you would get like in a red hibiscus tea. Um, it's more of a blank flavor. But um, it's a beautiful garnish to an entree or a dessert uh, or beverage. <laughs> uh, it's a delicate flower. Um, it, uh, as far as watering, um, you do want to water this plant um, frequently. Um, it prefers moist soil that is also well draining. Uh, as far as the soil pH, it prefers 6.5 to 6.8, which is a slightly acidic soil pH. Uh, as far as selecting a fertilizer, I recommend selecting one uh, that is, you know, a bloom mix where it supports the flower and the blooming for plants that are bloomers because this is a heavy blooming plant. Uh, it's loved by hummingbirds and it's loved by butterflies and bees. Uh, it's a really great plant to have. Uh, know that it's not the most cold hardy plant in the world. Uh, you know, when you get to freezing, um, this plant will experience some severe damage. Uh, when you get to 20 degrees Fahrenheit and below, um, this plant kind of kicks the bucket. So <laughs> know that. Um, know that also I, this plant is loved by gophers. So if you have gophers in your area, do make sure to net the roots or just pot it up out of the ground in a pot. Uh, and do keep it in a sheltered location where it doesn't get too cold. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, it's a lovely tropical addition to any garden. Uh, if you have any questions about this plant that maybe I haven't covered in this video, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Once again, this is Hibiscus rosa sinensis, and my name is Jason. Aloha.